all you flight simmers out there. Commander Kingfish here, and I am back in the Alaska bush trips uh, from uh, Unalaska, uh, which is actually Dutch Harbor, to Galeek Lake. And today's leg is leg four. Should be kind of a short one. We're going from False uh, Pass, uh, P-A-K-F, to uh, Cold Bay, P-A-C-D. So uh, why don't I go ahead and get this started and uh, we'll uh, uh, get uh, flying. Okay, we are ready to fly and our, we're going to be taking off. And if we uh, hop out of the cabin here, let's minimize this. If we can kind of get up here, we're going to be taking off and flying around this direction so we're kind of basically making a hard right uh, so uh, let's uh, go ahead and get this started there we go set flaps let's go inside to get flying uh, and Uh, adjust the map here a little bit. Okay. Let's uh, rev this thing. Actually, let's go ahead and do this. Let's uh, let's start this. Minimize this. over the city of uh, False Pass, and we want to start swinging out this way. Bring that, uh, that in there like that. Now, this bay that we're looking at, this is, uh, what is it? Bochevin Bay. So the route is taking us straight along through here and uh, our first uh, point of interest, and if we kind of go over here and take a look, our first point of interest is we're taking off from False Pass, and we're going to head northeast across, uh, yeah, I know, uh, in an ASCII Strait. So uh, let's. Uh, hop outside of the cabin and you can kind of see what's going on out here and chance to just uh, uh, enjoy the flight
Okay, we are almost to uh, point of interest number four, which uh, we're going to be making a uh, uh, turn to the uh, right uh, and going on a bearing of uh, 52 degrees. So this is uh, Cape uh, Bretzian, uh the hook-shaped outcropping. So let's uh, kind of uh, go inside here, and then we're just going to start turning around and then uh, we're going to follow along this shoreline now we're looking straight out over that's the Bering Sea that we're looking at and uh, the Gulf of Alaska is on the other side of the uh, island uh, the Aleutians uh, looking south so uh, just to kind of give you a bit of a reference here all right, so I'm going to be heading on down uh, along this shoreline, and we're going to be uh, heading, uh, what was it, uh, 60, it was something like 60, uh, 52 degrees. So let's see if we can kind of get on that. Basically, it's along the shoreline, and as you can see, we're probably could be a little farther out, but we're kind of coming along right through here so let me uh, hop back outside and you kind of continue to enjoy the flight Okay, we've kind of reached our next uh, point of interest here. Uh, we are going to be traveling. We're going to be moving over to a little bit about uh, 70, well, 77 degrees bearing. Let's see if I can kind of hold that. And uh, so uh, we are turning slightly east across the uh, Izimbek Lagoon and then we're proceeding to the opposite shoreline uh, which then we are going to be getting close now that uh, mountain that you see over in the distance right there that's Mount Frosty or Frosty Volcano uh, and it is uh, or Frosty Peak uh, let's see if I can get some information on it here and not crash. Uh, it is 6,299 feet and it's uh, kind of at the southwest end of Alaska here. So uh, Cold Bay is just on the other side of that. So we'll be getting over there to it. And uh, oh, I am descending rather quickly. Let's uh, kind of pull it up a little bit. Uh, some of the other things that are out in this area, uh, the maps have shown it's, it's a lot of uh, uh, bird watching. Uh, there's a lot of bird watching places. There's a couple of historic marks. Now, I couldn't find anything on it, but there's a historic uh, Frosty North Cannon Battery. I'm not sure what that is. Uh, if that was maybe something during uh, the World War that they had uh, placed a uh, cannon uh, battery there. And then uh, uh, we're going to be coming into Cold Bay, which is a very sparsely populated town or village. Uh, according to the last census, it had uh, 200 and 
or the 2020 census, it only had a population of about 68. So I am going to uh, kind of uh, let you uh, finish enjoying the trip. And then as I get closer to Cold Bay, uh, we'll start uh, landing this thing. Okay, I think it's about time to go back into the cabin. Uh, Cold Bay is just up there in the distance or right around that little mound that you see right there. So I'm gonna go back inside and uh, that way I can start flying, probably like I should be flying. And uh, we are going to start slowing this down a little bit. And as we hook around, this uh, mound right here, we're going to start to see Cold Bay, uh, see the airport uh, just right around the corner here. Yeah, I kind of did a little bit of recon uh, just so I know kind of where I'm flying. Uh, And there is the airport. Now it's a pretty nice airport, actually. It's got uh, a lot of, uh, uh, it's got two runways. And uh, it's, I think, uh, used quite extensively for the commercial fleet, uh, commercial fishing fleet up here. All right, so let me kind of concentrate here on getting up here and landing. We're gonna come right straight in. And again, pardon my uh, tail dragger experience. Uh, not the best landing, but I, would, I usually get it down on the ground. All right, let's start slowing down. Set of flaps. second set of flaps larger airport than the last one we flew into. thing come to a stop here and go outside the cabin and see if we can get pulled over here into the parking lot There we go, not too bad. I'm getting a little better at flying these tail draggers. There we go, leg completed. Checked, and that was 26 minutes. So, that was leg number four 
of the uh, Alaska bush trip. I hope you enjoyed the uh, video. So if you do enjoy the video, please hit that thumbs up. It really helps out the video. And uh, please subscribe. That'll really help out the channel a lot. Uh, ring that bell. It'll let you know when I'm uploading new videos. And I'm always uh, uploading videos every week. Uh, doing a variety of different things. So all you flight simmers out there, keep flying away. Keep those smooth landings coming. And uh, with that, Commander Kingfish is out of here. And I will see you all in the next video. Thanks for watching, everyone.